Hey y'all, welcome back to what I'm on today. Today we're going to be doing a fun tag and I'm going to be going over all of the luxury bags in my collection that I would purchase today at the current retail price. Stay tuned to see what I would choose. Hey y'all, welcome back to what I'm on today. My name is Lakia Chanel and I make videos about all things handbags, both luxury and contemporary because you guys already know that I do not discriminate. Today it is all about a fun tag that I have seen going around, which is just looks so fun. Of course, not a soul tag me, but I still thought that I would do it. I wanted to go over all of the luxury bags in my collection that I would purchase today, like at today's current price. I will say that the prices of bags now are like the price increases in homes. It's insane. Some of these bags I have purchased like less than a year or two years ago and they have like gone up over 50% in price which is insane like it's it's crazy like I cannot even believe that luxury bags are so expensive now but it is what it is what are you gonna do we're the drivers of it we keep buying they keep increasing it so let's talk a little bit about the bags in my collection that I would purchase all over again at their current prices the first bag, and again, this is in no particular order, this just happens to be the first bag that I picked up, would be my Speedy 30 or any of the Speedies in my collection. I think that this is a super classic bag. It's very easy to use. It fits everything that you need to have, literally. Like this thing is a huge black hole and fits everything that you need. It is very, very durable as well. I purchased this one pre-loved. I want to say that I paid between seven and nine hundred dollars. I'll put the right uh, price below. Um, I have no clue how much this was, you know, retail because I got this pre-loved. Right now, this is retailing for fifteen hundred and fifty dollars. I literally just found that out when I looked it up today. Um, I think that I paid a hundred dollars more for my brand new. Uh, speedy bandolier in the size 25 when I got that a year and a half or two years ago so I am pretty sure that it this had to be well this had to be like eleven hundred dollars a year and a half ago when I bought my speedy uh, bandolier but now it costs the same amount as a speedy bandolier I'm still recommending it because it is under two hundred dollar two hundred it's under two thousand dollars but more importantly I really do think it's worth it so even at the fifteen hundred and fifty dollar price tag I think that this bag is worth it because of the wear that you would be able to get out of this this could totally be your every single day bag um, if you are a bag guy or gal and I think that it's something that's gonna last and stand the test of time because of what it is right it's a Louis Vuitton bag you can wear it forever. It's highly recognizable. It's just really a great bag to have in your collection. So bag number one, Speedy, I'd buy you again, girl. The second bag that I would choose again would be the YSL Toy Lulu. So for many years, this has been like a decent price. I know that it's increased in price year over year it started off at like 900 bucks when i got this last year it was 1250 dollars now with the recent price increase that just happened this month in may it is now 1850 dollars i'm being dramatic but it does make my stomach hurt this much okay but guys remember i'm always going to tell you right if you go to Selfridges and you are open to get it in black, brown, or the white color, you can still get it for $1,270. So as of this month of May, they have not um, increased the prices on Selfridges, but I'm pretty sure that everywhere else that I've seen has increased the price to $1,800. I still think that it's worth the $1,800 if I had to purchase this again. And I think even with the new price, I may... 
I mean, if I couldn't get it on Selfridges, I may actually purchase it because it's a really good bag. Um, it's mostly leather. The lining on the inside is leather around the rim and also a uh, canvas, but it comes with the leather strap. The new ones have the adjustable strap, which is great. And again, this is just like an easy, durable bag. The leather is very durable. It looks good. It's simple. You can dress it up or down. The strap is detachable. It is a really, really good bag to get. And honestly, I mean, if we're honest, getting it for like $1,200 was pretty much a steal. So I think because it's under $2,000, I would still purchase this bag um, at the current retail price. The next bag that I would choose is the Gucci Marmont in the size super mini. You guys know that this is my only Gucci bag as of right now. Um, and for the foreseeable future, because I haven't purchased one, but I do really like what Gucci is doing. I like some of their things that they're coming out with, but that's not, this video is not about that. Um, I would choose this bag. So when I purchased this bag, it was 800 and I believe $60. And I got this maybe, I'm gonna say two years ago. And it hasn't gone up incredibly in price. Um, when I looked last, I believe this bag is $1,150, which is just a really good price for a leather bag. And I think this is fully leather. Oh, it's leather with a suede interior. And it comes with a detachable uh, strap that is gold and it's very sturdy. It comes in really cool colors. And even though it's a small bag, it still fits a good amount of stuff. It'll fit your phone regardless of the size of phone i think this will still fit it you know any of your essentials your keys your wallet you know lipstick what have you so i think it's still a really really great bag and i still am considering getting this in a different color um because it's such a really good bag so i would still recommend this and honestly at an 1100 dollars price tag based on the prices that i've told you already for these other ones this is kind of a steal. So if you can get a leather bag by Gucci for $1,100 and some change, to me, it's still worth it. So if this is not on your radar, it should be. And it really did take them a long time to get to that $1,150 because this, it, it, it's been like several years and I checked back and it was only like 900 bucks or 960. So, I mean, it had a little teeny price increase. So it's worth grabbing this one if you are interested. And this is like a great, like, I hate when people say like starter luxury bag, um, but it kind of is. It was one of my first luxury bags, wore this all the time and she still looks amazing. And I was wearing her as a whole entire daily bag at one time so recommend her period all of the other bags are going to be chanel bags and even though chanel has gone through insane price increases there are still some bags that i would still purchase again um and i do continue to you know i plan to continue to purchase chanel maybe not a classic flop but some of their other bags so one of the bags that i would purchase again is what I consider like their fashion bags or their seasonal bags. I got this seasonal um, mini bag for $4,400, I believe. And I think that if you are um, interested in Chanel and you do get a bag that's not part of their classic line, you can kind of come out with a decent you know, price tag for Chanel. And you can stay, I believe, around that four to $5,000 range. So I would definitely recommend any of the fashion bags or the seasonal bags from Chanel. And I would still purchase those at their current prices. The next Chanel bag that I would still purchase at its current price is the Chanel Mini. So I purchased this bag in 2021 for $4,000. I think now the minis go for $4,600, if I'm not mistaken. So, I mean, uh, it has increased $600 over the past year, which is crazy. But I think that if you are interested in Chanel, you can definitely get like this whole vibe um, for still lower than like some of their classic bags in their collection. So I still do recommend this. I think if this got to, 
like six thousand dollars or something i would probably say i would not recommend it but since it's still four thousand dollars and it hasn't hit the five thousand dollar range i think it's worth it and this bag is oh I forget like if the bags are fully leather or not, but the Chanel minis are full leather bags. So you are getting your money's worth with the bunny ears. <laughs> so definitely recommend this. The last bag that I would recommend that you get, that I would get um, at the current retail price would be the Chanel 19 bag. So this is the size large in a wool tweed. I paid $4,600 for this bag. I believe that the large Chanel 19s, like in the leather or whatever colorway, um, they are approximately like $6,300. So obviously, I mean, I think I got this at the end of 2020 or the beginning of 2021. And again, it was $4,600, right? And now it's $6,300. But again, it's still reasonable, which is so gross to say, but it is. It's still reasonable for Chanel. So, and it's still much less than the classic flap. So I would still get the 19. And I honestly, I, I high key and low key do want a leather uh 19 in my collection um so we'll see what happens i mean i wish that it, they were still four thousand and some change and i think just last year they were like five thousand and some change and now they've jumped all the way to six thousand but i still do think it's worth it like i think this um if you were to get it in the right material this is going to last you forever it's a good everyday bag it's it's just it's just oh the vibes are just so good like it's definitely worth it and i think the quality of the 19s are worth it as well so i would definitely get the 19 again today and god willing i will be able to get a 19 at some point in the next year or so but yes recommend that bag as well all right so those are my picks those are the bags that i would purchase again at the current retail price i will have to say that it is incredibly amazing to me how drastic these prices are from like what I paid merely a year and a half or less um, ago. It's crazy that it's increased that much, which means that, you know, the luxury handbag game is super popular and we're all into it, which is why they can definitely increase the prices the way that they do. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I would also like to know down below, I'm sure that there are some bags that I don't have in my collection that I didn't mention that you would purchase today at the current retail price. I'd love to know those. Comment below. If you've not done so already, please remember to subscribe. It's fun. It's free. We're talking about handbags. Why not? Thank you to all my subscribers and my new subscribers. Really appreciate you, guys, appreciate you guys for coming back and seeing me mostly every week when I post a video. And I look forward to seeing you all uh, next Saturday at 1. Bye.